as I started to say, welcome everybody uh, to Maribor Rugby League ground here this afternoon. Eh? What's that one there? I've definitely got a pretty loud voice, but I won't be able to talk when it uh, makes more sense if you can't hear me on the microphone. It seems like we might be able to uh, keep going now. Uh, but as I said, I'd like to welcome you all here to Barabra this afternoon on behalf of the Rugby, Barabra Rugby League and our major sponsor, the Bowling Club, which is just across the river. Uh, I'd just like to wish everyone good luck this afternoon with the things that they're supporting, and I hope that uh, everything goes along and flows nice and easy. Uh, while I'm thinking about that, I'd just like to put in a bit of a plug for the, uh, for the referees. Uh, it's a pretty hard job out there with the whistle, and uh, I'd just like to make sure that uh, everyone keeps an eye on what they're saying about this and that and these and those and them. Uh, Admittedly, chair of, chair, chair, chair for your teams, but uh, the thing is, if we don't have referees, we don't have games. So, uh, just look after our referees here today as well. I'd just like to read out the, um, the two teams uh, that the, uh, for the league tag match here this afternoon. Uh, firstly, the Cootie Chicks. Uh, this is in the order they uh, are with their jumpers. Uh, number one is Mandy Sullivan. Number two, Tracy Howell. Number three, Tiani Burtonshaw. Number four, Joey Sullivan. Abby Dow is in number five. Tiff Waltz, number six. Jess Smith is in number seven. And Mandy Hudson, number eight. Number nine is Kendall Horn. Number ten, Ash Allen. Number 11, Georgina Lansdowne. 12, Jess Hall. 13, Stacey Jolliffe. Phoebe McLaughlin. Number 14. Number 15 is Ash Breach. 16 is Maddie Roach. 17, Jody Howard. 18, Tyler Endemy. Number 19 is Jess Sharp. And number 20 is Kate Rutley. That's the uh, Cootie Chicks lineup for here this afternoon. Uh, the Arella Tigers. Number one, Elise Walsh. Number two, Sophie Barraclough. Brooke O'Halloran is in number three, and Abby Smith's wearing number four. Sarah Byrne, number five. Number six is Camilla, Camilla Clydesdale. Number eight is Brooke Doyle. Sophie Doran, number nine. Ella Elks is number 10, Hannah Skews 11. Number 13 is Natalie Hammond. Number 14, Lauren Acton. Number 15, Alicia Dillon. Down to number 17 is Ellie Barraclough. Down to number 19 is Samantha Doran. Uh, the coach listed here is Paul Martin. I'd just like to wish both teams good luck here this afternoon in this grand final afternoon. I played a lot of football down mm. and I refereed a game once for 12 year olds mm. and I never <laughs> thought it would be a good thing. No, but, uh, but it's, uh, you know, everyone's hey, always Woody. got a funny oh, say. Oh, no. no one's ever happy. No, you can't keep people, uh, all the people happy all the time. And I run a caravan park out here, darling. And um, I've been involved in Barabar oh, Rugby League for 46 years. Oh, and you and you yeah. 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 So right across the other side. Within hours of arriving here in 1972, I was involved. I played here for 50. Yeah, and I've been involved for 25 years, and <laughs> <laughs> so we never get yeah. that kind no, of appreciation. I just, I just thought it was worth a mention. I thought I'd appreciate you for that. Yeah. 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 Is that a gun for me here? Yeah, and, uh, uh, like, and I've, I've, I've seen the frustration of the referees sitting here mm -hmm. and they come off the ground and you know, they're copying them. Oh, they're copying them. Yeah, we, we, we do our best. Of course. Like, no one's perfect and it's in his head. Uh, yeah, everyone's sure. looking at things from a different angle. Yeah, that's you know? correct. Uh, and trust me, these guys get spoken to us as well, so it's not a different. Yeah. 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 Ye
Yeah, well, I'll remind people again before the main match goes on again. So you got the... At least someone was listening. <laughs> sponsors that I have uh, down here in front of me. Uh, the group sponsors are to his new uh, beer and then Wayne Cadman and Associates and Super Steel Penworth Priority Limited are the main uh, sponsors of the group. Uh, and as I said, we'll work on into the fact that uh, Barabra Bowling Club is our major sponsor here in Barabra and uh, they're just across the river and we we we'll would all uh, hope that someone uh, comes back later on and uh, helps us uh, celebrate one way or another this afternoon after the game. While we're on the uh, on the on that um, on that note, I will just uh, we'll read some of our barrel responses out to you. Um, the spray safe pest and weed control. Jonathan David Phillips. Creation Club, Baraba Caravan Park, the Einbark Herefords, Commercial Hotel, Canoe Pastoral Company, Mal Shearing, Leet and Grazing, and the Free Range Butcher, Fox Transport, Froxton Locks, another one is Tamworth Parcel Express, uh, and that's uh, Daniel Etheridge, uh, he's got his big talk line right over there, uh, I think he's going to put the uh, put the sides up and sit on the truck, but I'm not too sure, but he's a Tamworth boy, but he's playing, look, the sponsors there of a rugby league, this is great. Stock and Crop, one of our little shops here in Barabba, and I'm quite sure um, uh, Simon and Steve and uh, Mitch uh, might be here somewhere, but we'd like to uh, recognise their sponsorship. Uh, Tell the Wheel, Ward's Plumbing, We've got the Barber Cafe up here in Queen Street and Pippi's Party Music. Super Gas is another sponsor here. And Barber IGA, of course. Barber Rural Traders, Thompson Livestock Transport. And we have uh, Hart Rural uh, at Barber and Manila. And uh, they're sponsors of our club as well. So I'd just like to thank them for all the sponsorship and support through the year because uh, otherwise we wouldn't be here with our teams and uh, people. Anyway, it's not very far off uh, the start of the league tag game, so I just wish both teams the best of luck here this afternoon. Just need your ground manager. Uh, there's a, we just need a ground manager, so uh, whoever's... Um, designated to do that job this afternoon. If you just can hear me, we'd like to see, uh, like to see a face over here. Whoever's uh, doing the ground managing here this afternoon. So if Thomas listening, can they just make sure that we get the man over here? He's got his thing on. Uh, special jacket he wears. Yeah. Yeah. Good man. There's a couple of balls underneath there. Oh, we got a 
Uh, we're just needing another ball boy for the uh, this side of the paddock. Uh, the young man. Will Russell will. Oh, yeah. If you want to see the bandana, there's some of them there. Oh, he's on this side. Yeah, Will will be the bandana. Nurse is coming. Nurse. He's coming. He's got his jacket. Yeah. Right, eh? Well, he's identifiable. Our ground manager here is uh, Nurse Phillip with the red jacket on. So, uh, if you need any assistance, uh, that will be uh, our grand manager here today looking after the situation. We just hope you enjoy the afternoon and treat it like as a sportsmanship manner and enjoy the afternoon. That's it. <laughs> Why did he tell me to push? <laughs> blame him, don't blame him. <laughs> Who's finished that? He's going right on the And the cootie chicks are just taking the field as well, so the game will be underway very soon. Yesterday morning there was horse floats over there for, for marking the spot. Uh -huh, early right. yesterday morning.
point of view, uh, where I'm sitting, uh, number 14, Phoebe McLaughlin has opened the scoring this afternoon uh, for the um, Cootie Chicks. Which puts the score at four. Your Alan Hill at this stage with a kick to come, ladies and gentlemen. Unfortunately, the uh, kick was unsuccessful. The score remains four. Marty, 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 go over, so Jeff. Go all the way. Tyler, come up. Yeah, Tyler, 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 Tyler,
get across. Fox, Fox. Ball, ball. Pull your trainers. Yeah, on, the, on to give water, straight back off. You're not coaching. I'll mate on the other side. Drag him back. He went to replace the winner.
And uh, this afternoon, after the uh, completion of games, and we heard the uh, age this afternoon, we'd like to think that we come back to the uh, club and join us uh, between uh, drinks and uh, some conversation and reminiscence. And um, yeah, it's a golden club. Which is just over the river, and you've got to go almost right past it if you're heading back to Canada for duty or to So, uh, anyway, we more than be happy to uh, see you over the last time. Some of our other sales sponsors, ladies and gentlemen, here for Taylor in particular, the Stock and Crop and the Rural Shop, the, the Sulphur Rural, there's also Ward Plumbing, Stephen Allison Ward. Barrow the Cafe, right there in Queen Street, just near the pedestrian crossing. Put his party music if you need some uh, lighting up at a party sometime. Super Gas, Barrow the IGA, Barrow the Rural Traders is uh, another one of our sponsors. Pumpkin Livestock Transport, um, you know, who, and the Pumpkin family. And uh, we've got Hart Rural, uh, the agencies in Barrow and Marilla. And uh, the, the two of you are looked after uh, with sponsorship from them as well. Stray Safe Pest and Root Control. Got his transport cars and gave the to deliver it. Barbara Aha is still at the recreation club, which is just up there at the roundabout and back to the left. The Barbara Caravan Car. One Dark Terrafoot, the Commercial Hotel is another sponsor of ours. And the Gunnaganoo Pastoral Company, who they're not here in Barrow, but they have a, a good sponsorship for our club. Uh, Mellis Shearing, Luton Grazing, the Free Range Butcher, Cross Transport, and Fox and Lockbeer are the shop in our town. Um, the Fox and Lock, if you're wondering what that's about, it's a ladies' clothing, and uh, you can get uh, your hair done there at the same time. And of course we've got the uh, camera pass on express with um, the big truck over there on the other side. Uh, we're setting up the um, setting up the grandstand over there for the afternoon uh, rest of the afternoon's day. We'd like to thank all our sponsors uh, for supporting our club.
To anybody that just might have arrived here this afternoon, we've just got the uh, 
Judy Chicks and the uh, Urala Tigers game on with the league tag. At this time in the game, the team are leading 4-0. Thank <laughs> you. 
Jalen Sullivan proceeding is to put the uh, ball between the posts and raise the flag, ladies and gentlemen. The score now is 6 to 30. Girola is set to score.
I think we should give all the uh, the league tag girls a big a big cheer and clap. Very entertaining game. As I mentioned earlier, uh, uh, the two is uh, beer mob, and uh, we've got uh, Wayne Catman and Associates from Tamworth who are here today to part two with us as part of this little presentation, and Super Steel Tamworth, Priority Limited, are all sponsors of the of the group. Congratulations to both teams. It's sad there has to be a loser on the day. Cracker game indeed. If both teams would like to gather now, we'll have a very quick presentation. Thank you so much to the, uh, the match officials on the day. Well done, Troy. We think about Jeff Sharp, the, uh, the coach of the two girls and their captain.
Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of Group 4 Rugby League, I'd like to take this opportunity to present the single six for the 36 with the uh, Peter Blom Shield as winners of the Second Division Ladies League Tag this year sponsored by Super Steel. Now, as we stand in uh, all grades now, once we're done photos, we need to get a, uh, a response from the screen captain and also the winning coach. And this is a prerequisite, the uh, Urala Tigers captain and also coach, ready to say a few words as well. Nine is Tom. 
Number 10 is Ash Alfred. Number 11, Georgina Lansdowne. Number 12, Jeff Hall. 14, Stacey Jollard. Number 14, Katie McLaughlin. Number 15, Spook Ashford. Number 16 is Maddie Roach. 17, Jordy Howard. 18, I hope I get this right, Carla and Demi. No, close. Number 19 is Jess Sharp. Number 20 is Kate Rutley. Team manager is Joanne Jones. If you'd like to grab the extra clothing as well. Now, as part of the uh, today's section, we have had uh, people sitting around to choose a player of the match. So, without further ado, one of the directors of football, Randy Lee, to make the announcement, Lindsay Barnes. Thanks, Ray. Uh, congratulations, both teams, on today's um, uh, grand final. Congratulations, Kitty, at the 11th. But um, today, Ravens play award for 2007 goes to number 6 and Judy Tickwell. Congratulations to all of the ladies lead tag teams for our 2017. We'll now prepare for the, uh, the green farm and the men's division. But if you'd like to get a photo of both of these teams and your other tigers, if you girls would like to sit in the formation of some of your supporters, we'd like to take photos as well. We'll probably have a five minute window. Congratulations both teams. Thank <laughs> you. 
Ladies and gentlemen, just before uh, we haven't got a big window of time before the uh, next game starts, so I'd just like to announce uh, the Barabba side and the uh, and the Bandara Bears side. Number one for Barabba today, Jeremy York. Number two is Bill Mercado. Bo White is wearing number three, Zach Mallis four. Mick Rutherford is out on the wing with number five on his back. Tom Miller is number six. Chris Hallam is seven. Timmy Coon is his regular number eight. Adam Russell at number nine. Jock Mallis is wearing number ten. Lincoln Brown, eleven. Sean Spence, number twelve. Justin Fox wearing number thirteen today. Jonathan Phillips, number fourteen. Blake York with 15 on his back. Morgan Phelps, 16. Nick Sweeney is wearing number 17. Number 18 is Jacob Pauly. Luke Wright, number 19. Bruce Phillips is number 20. And our coach, as we know, is Jesse Phillips. That's the barrier side today. Before I read out the Bunga Bear side, I'd just like to mention the uh, Barabba Men's Cup of Sponsors. Number one is sponsored by Warunga Angus. Barabba IGA is sponsoring number two. Stock and Crop is, number, is sponsoring number three. The RSL Recreation Club number four. The RSL English Club is sponsoring number, number four. six. is the North Barabba Diesel. Adam Russell. Number seven is Barra of the Number eight is Russell Sherrard. Bob Shearer is sponsoring number nine and the Barra of the Caravan Park. Number ten. C.R. Hancock and Sons with the Al Booker Shop is number eleven. Park Royal Agency from both Barra and Manila. Number twelve. Stephen Hall sponsoring number thirteen. Cost Transport fourteen. The Barabba Bakery here in Barabba, number 15. DJ Kelly and Company, our accountants, number 16. Number 17, Ross Curley. Number 18, Ross Curley. Number 19. Number 19. Number 1, Jacob David. Number 2, it will be Tom Colwell. Sam Waller, number three. Number four is Terry Lee. Number five, Jordan Beveridge. We jump to number seven is Luke Burns. Terry Dawson, number eight. Greg Waters in number nine. Tom Tavis wearing number ten. Number eleven is James D. Number twelve is Matt Duffy. Thirteen is Jaden Bill. Number fourteen is Anthony Dickman. Number 15, Tom Cleo. 16, Nick Dawson. Les Perry is in number 17. 18, Kyle McLennan. And number 2, Jake Moore. The Barber Rugby League Club that I'm speaking on behalf of. I'd like to uh, thank everyone for attending today and wishing all teams good luck in today's grand final.
Sometimes keep your pins for a minute. What else do you want? What else do you want? The right way. More cutbacks. More cutbacks. We'd like to welcome all the uh, people who travel a long way to be here this afternoon to support their regular teams. Uh, it's great to see the big crowd we have here at Barbara. We we're very proud to be able to sponsor the grand final here. Now, good luck to both teams this afternoon. And uh, they had a team win on the day, as we probably could say. And uh, we just hope it all goes off pretty smoothly. And uh, as I said, good luck to both sides. Don't forget, the Barabra Bowling Club, our major sponsor is over the road, so we'd like to see a lot of people back here this afternoon, back there in the room this afternoon after the, today's uh, game. It's also good to see a lot of old Barabra players that are here today to support, support our club. <laughs> Assuming it's going to be an absolute cracker game, both big teams. Uh, again, the Barabra boys on a big roll to make their way through to the grand final. And they uh, are going to be able towards the latter end of the season. Out must be Katinga to run for the last year of Katinga. Sorry, against the, uh, the Barabra boys in the grand final. As to the outcome, that'll be uh, only a matter of time. I'll have Scotty Bain in just a moment. What we do know is we've got a bump right here at the Barabra. And uh, it's going to be a very, very exciting game. So we're moving into the, uh, the first stage, so I guess the settling period from there. What do you, what do you think? Yeah, obviously, welcome everyone. Uh, first penalty of the match, obviously, with the, the Barabas side. Uh, we'll uh, be interested to see here uh, how they get along. Big Zach Malice, he take one, takes one forward there for the uh, for the Bulldogs. They go at the back there to Chris Halloran at halfback. Sean Spence, uh, no, Justin Fox it was, that takes one forward there for uh, for the Bulldogs. Jimmy Coombs lining up here. He's going to roll forward for the for the Bulldogs. Good low tackle there from uh, from Bundy that brings him down. They go at the back. Chris Halloran again. Out to Zachy Malice there. Sorry. Get those twins picked up. Drop the big number ten for the Bulldogs. The swing wide. Timmy Coombs out to the five eight there in Tom Mellon. Chris Halloran puts a nice little kick into the corner. Well, it might be a bit long there. Yeah, it's gone a bit long there. So uh, they'll come out for seven tackles here. Uh, Bandar and their, uh, their first opportunity with the ball. The top of this boat is coming into the uh, the grand final. Any any thoughts that you had that uh, you sort of set in concrete or it's a matter of just see how it pans out? Yeah, obviously, mate. Obviously, uh, the Barber have been, uh, you know, the form side in the uh, the last 13 weeks coming in with uh, 13 wins. But obviously, uh, you know, Bandara here, they've made the big one. You've know, come from fourth spot, uh, had to sort of win their last couple of games to cement a spot in the semi final. So it is a grand final, mate. So anything can happen. A bit of sediment attached to the grand final as well from uh, both teams. But again, uh, big Timmy Coons leading the uh, the Bulldogs again. He's uh, again said this year it'll be his last game. A lot will depend on uh, his performance for the result. Yeah, obviously, mate, uh, he'll be a key for the, for, uh, for Barabra there in, in leading them forward. But um, as I said here, the uh, Bandara have got the ball at the moment. They're uh, 40 metres out. A kick there from their number 14, uh, Anthony Dittman. Great take there at the back by, uh, by Jeremy Ork. Going back into the uh, the run of the towards the final series from uh, Barabra, Jeremy York had a lot to do with that as well. Yeah, obviously uh, had a big game. I think the day they actually beat Cootie in the rounds, you know, scored four or five tries. So uh, he'll be a key for them out the back. Barabra here uh, rucking the ball out there, uh, about 35 out from their own line. Timmy Coombs here rolling forward again. 
taken there by big Troy Dawson. Adam Russell at dummy half. Kicks it back, Justin Fox. They go to the left. Good high kick here from Tom Miller. Oh. A knock on here. Uh, referee Tony Hardy's ruled. Uh, Bundabar have knocked the ball on there, so they'll have a scrum attacking the line about 30 metres out. Again, coming in towards the uh, the grand final, Bones, it's very hard to uh, pick a lot of differences between the two. Uh, the two teams both have a lot of size up front, but also a lot of expertise and a lot of speed out wide. Yeah, as you said, mate, obviously, uh, you know, looking at both uh, fairly solid forward packs, um, uh, a bit of speed out wide, obviously, uh, Barab will be looking to, to, uh, to bow wide here in number three to, uh, to really be their, their key for them. The big thing, of course, Luke White missing today, which uh, with a new injury, which is he's not nice, but a bit of pressure on bow now to uh, pick it up and uh, cover for his, not cover for his brother, they've got somebody to fill his place, but um, again, he'll be instrumental in a, in a very, very tight game. Again, Timmy Coombs doing what he does all year and probably done for the last 100 years, taking the ball forward. Uh, he seems to be a magnet, drawing two or three in from there. We'll see where they go from here, up in the, uh, very close to the red zone from there. Big fella, Jock Melissa, taking it up from there. Yeah, Barbara here, they're only about 10 metres out. Russell at dummy half, he goes left to Tom Miller. Shawnee Spence here dropping back underneath. A bit of a hole there. Oh, an opportunity there. The uh, ball dropped there by Zach Mallis. Uh, yeah, real opportunity there for, for Barriba, but uh, one that, that's gone begging. Uh, actually, interesting, I can actually see Luke White sitting down here dressed on the bench for, uh, for Barriba. He, he does as he's listening, heavily strapped, so it'll be interesting to see whether or not he, uh, he actually does play some part in this game. Uh, quick tap there from, uh, from Bandara. Bandara roll of four. Looks like Nick Dawson there. Uh, he's come into the side to start today. A really experienced player for Bandara. A uh, guy played country and played a lot of rep football in, uh, in Group 19 area. So uh, he'll be a big key for them today. Good tackle there uh, on, on the number eight, Troy Dawson. The hooker, Waters, gets it off to the right there. A good run there from uh, the number 11, James Deeves. They go right again out to uh, their, co their captain, Luke Deves. Nice kick into the corner. York gets across. Oh, he's dropped it there. Well, this will be a drop out, a repeat set here for uh, for Bandara. Chains there going on. Number 16 coming on there for uh, Jaden Field. Just replacing the number 11 there, James Deems. is going to have a spell there for Bandara. It's uh, very much what we expected, Bones, coming into the uh, first part of this game. Both big teams. The thing that belies uh, their size is the speed on both sides. Very quick indeed. Yeah, mate, obviously uh, fairly quick tempo at the moment. So uh, the Barrow boys taking their time here at the moment. Chris Halloran to drop the ball out for them. Decent kick, yeah, about 45 metres on the fly there. Taken out there, it looks like, by Jake Deves. The number six, he's rolled it forward for them. Oh, the number three, Sam Waller. He's bounced out of a couple of tackles. Good tackle there from the 5'8", Tom Miller. Dawson, he rolls it forward. Really got a, his right arm there free to get an offload. Come out the back here to Dittman, the 14. Good tackle there. Great tackle there by Bo White. The Bears still on the uh, attack here. Dittman comes back left again. Nice little pass to the number four. He's very close there. Held up. Tony Hardy says held up. Terry Lee, very close there for the uh, for the Bundara side. Last tackle here for Bundara. They come right. Luke Deves. Oh, nice little kick. Bit of pressure here. No, referee Hardy, he's ruled that uh, it's been touched or taken over there by uh, Barabra. So another dropout, a bit more pressure here for uh, Bandara on the Barabra Bulldogs. Let's see what happens from here, Bones. Again, they're both feeling each other out. They've played uh, consistent football all the way through in the 
in the opening stanza, uh, really concentrating on going up the middle to see if there are any weaknesses up there. And at this stage, no, they're not. Uh, again, now we have Bandara on the offensive. Let's see if we swing wide. They'll take it out of dummy half and bring it forward. Nice subtle defence again from the Barrabah Bar Bulldogs. Red Waters out of dummy half. It yeah, looks like Luke Deves there, the Bandara captain coach. He's uh, he's taken off to the right there, and uh, uh, the the Barrabah boys have held off them, and uh, he's gone in to score their first try. Bainshi Barra, but now you're sitting behind the, uh, the, the fence. It's been, it's been a, a nice rugged start to the game. It's a matter, I guess, of Timmy Coombs just uh, stabilising the boys, come back and do it all over again. Yeah, obviously still early in the game. Look, uh, uh, both sides have been sorting each other out fairly well there. Uh, so, uh, but as I said, uh, they've, uh, those two sets, repeat sets there for Bandara, that's, uh, that's been able to get them the first points and uh, it looks like Luke Diesel... Uh, take the kick to uh, see if he can invert his own try and uh, take them out to a six point to uh, nil lead. Uh, big Tommy Tabor looks like he's uh, he's uh, going to go back on. He's just come back to get a bit of Vicks by the look of it, clear the nostrils. Yeah, he's probably about 15 metres in from touch, looking at it from uh, from our side here. Um, <laughs> Dees moves in. Strikes it well, and it's converted. Bandara, that was actually his brother Jake Dees that, uh, that converted that one, the 5-8. Uh, the so the Dees boys combined for the uh, the first points and the uh, the Bandara Bears lead Barabba, six points to nil. As we've seen all season, certainly in the uh, the latter half of the, the second half of the season, Barnes and Barabba, the team now that uh, will regroup. Both teams very, very fit indeed. I mentioned earlier the, uh, the pace of the game. And that's in uh, both the, the pace of the game, but also some of the speed of the players, not only in the forward pack, but out wide as well. Uh, that try coming from the first chance to actually go out wide. Most of the players been through the centre. Um, it may lead to now uh, drawing people in trying to swing wide. It might open up the game. Yeah, mate, as you said, uh, still that really feeling out period here. Both sets of forwards want to get in some dominance here. Uh, Bandara here, bring it wide. Tommy Tabor there getting tackled. A good, very good low tackle there from... Uh, uh, from looks like uh, one of the reserves that's come on, number 17 there, Nick Sweeney for the Barabba side. Penalty here to Barabba. Uh, sorry, to Bandara, offside. Tony Hardy uh, stamping his authority on the game early. I might have to yell down and get the D's boys one of them to pull their socks up so I can tell which one's which. <laughs> Uh, Jakey Deves, he uh, he puts the ball in a touch for Bandara. They'll take a tap 40 metres out from the Barra line. Tommy Tabor, he rolls one forward here. Uh, gets an offload, good little offload. And again, another offload. Dittman makes a bit of yards. Great tackle there, Bo White. He wraps him up. Oh, no, he's got through that tackle. Dittman through again. Good little run there from, uh, from Anthony Dittman. The 16 here in uh, Jaden Field takes it forward. Bandara on the attack again here. Inside the 20 now. Nick Dawson, he's going to take one forward. Great tackle, Sean Spence. Very good low tackle there from Sean Spence. Oh, lost ball. Knock on. That'll relieve a bit of pressure there for Barabar and uh, they'll, be, they'll be looking to, uh, to roll the ball out from their own half and get back down into uh, Bandara's area. Yeah, the positive coming out of the game, the uh, the early game in the ladies' league tab, we had a nice win for the uh, Katingle girls, just beating uh, Yarala six points to nil in a very very tight game indeed. And a bit pat on the back, anyone that thinks uh, rugby league is dying in the bush needs to be here at Barabra today. Nice crowd, Bones. Yeah, mate, good uh, good crowd here. So uh, you know, great to see. I just said uh, both small communities that uh, really looking to be here and uh, support their teams today. Bowie White he uh, makes a bit of a break there from the the scrum, gets the uh, the boys out of trouble. 
big Jock Mallis takes one forward there for uh, for the Barrava side. Chris Allen at dummy half, spins one out to Nick Sweeney. Oh, Nick Dawson, great shot there. Great shot from Nick Dawson from Mandara. Timmy Coons is going to roll one forward. Nice little offload there. Jeremy Walk pushing up off his left shoulder there. Russell at dummy half. Back to Coombs again. Coombs, he rolls it forward. Looking for the offload. Oh, the big bloke. He's brushing him away like flies. Little hooker, Brad Walters. Little penalty here. Not sure what that one's for there from Tony Hardy. Shoulder charge by the look of it is the... Uh, is the um, is the indication? Barber now with a penalty. Chris Halloran will take the kick for touch. Very important six now. We're down six now at the moment. Lap uh, in a nice attacking line. Again, Timmy Coos doing a lot of hard work up front. Let's see if we spread the ball wide and uh, get over the, the white line. Nick Dawson took Coombs there head on. Coombs not happy. Big Jock Malice. Oh, Malice pokes his head through. Very close here. Only about five metres out. They spin it out the back. Chris Halloran out to Jeremy York. Out to Bo White. Opportunity skips out. White gets down low. Try. Try there to Barrett to Bo White. Great little movement there. Uh, Chris Halloran got the ball out to Jeremy York, who got it onto Bo White. He skipped outside his centre there and was able to then get down low and uh, and get the uh, Bulldogs' first four points for the match. So score now six four with the uh, kick to come. And all of that on the back of an absolutely incredible run up forward for uh, Timmy Coombs. Took it forward, gained a good thirty metres, and uh, as we said, drew them all inside, spread the ball, uh, the ball wide, and again Bo White doing what he does best. Yeah, as I said, uh, a couple of big charges there from uh, from Coombsy, big pumpkin. Uh, got the boys rolling there, so uh, you know Chris Haller now uh, got an opportunity here to uh, to tie the game up. Halloran lines a kick up. Oh, that's a shocker. That's well across the face of uh, the post there, but uh, <laughs> that is worth a nudie run. <laughs> Six four. We have Bandara Bears in front of the moment. I was just probably around about 15 minutes gone at the moment. But again, it's exactly what we call the beta grand final. Both big packs taking each other on. Uh, uh, in the middle, and both tries now being scored out wide. Yeah, as I said, uh, good start to the game. Been a couple of replacements uh, from on both sides at the moment. The forwards are uh, resting up early. The Bears kick off. Ball goes down to Chris Haller and all oh, short pass there to Jock Malice. Some good contact there from the Bundara players. Number 16, Jaden Field. Sean Spence comes in from the left side, and rolls one forward. Great run from Spence. Good play of the ball, Russell. Kicks it out to number 11, Lincoln Brown. Good run there. Adam Russell at dummy half again, out to Coombs. Again, bouncing out of tackles here, Coombs. Got that right arm free there. He'll be looking for that offload later on. Russell again comes to the right here to Chris Halloran. Nice ball out to Bo White. Oh, nearly got away again there, Bo White. Uh, the centre there in lead just got hold of him. Back to the middle, Halloran puts it high. Jeremy York comes through. Bit of pressure on the fullback, knock back there, says referee Hardy. And Bandara have the ball. Even at this early stage of the game, that uh, Terry Lee, the centre for Bandara Bears, will certainly sleep well tonight. He's got both right to uh, contend with. And a little bit of a difference in size, but uh, doing a great job at this stage, apart from that one little breakthrough to get the try. Oh, good shot again, Sean Spence. Very heavy defence there. Great tackle. Bandara needs, they need someone to put their hand up here and take them forward. Tommy Tabor, he puts his hand up, rolls forward for them. Out to Deves. Deves will look to kick Jake Deves. That's a good long kick downfield. Jeremy York knocks it back there. 
He picked the ball up on his 20 and moved forward. York beats the first tackle. Good tackle over there by number three, Sam Waller. Mickey Rutherford, he takes one out there for Baraba. Tommy Mellor, the 5'8", he takes one forward for the Barrow side. Good tackle there from Brad Waters. Coombs again, here he comes. Out to big Zach Ballas out in the centres. He's got an offload, back to Coombs. Tommy Mellor. Opportunity here, Jock Mellis. He's through the middle. Good offload to Nick Sweeney. Great tackle there. That was a must-made tackle there by Anthony Dittman from the Bundy Bears. Out to Bo White. Great tackle again, another low tackle there, cut Bo White down. Good tackle by the fullback, Jacob David. Halloran, little kick in the grubber, in towards the post there, might be just too long. Oh, touched. Referee says touched by the Bundara side and taken dead, so we'll have a uh, goal line dropout and the, uh, the Barrabah Bulldogs will again put some pressure here on the Bundara side. Well, that looks like it might go out in the full. Oh, very close there. <laughs> Lincoln Brown rolls it forward for the Barrow side. Jock Mallis takes one forward. Really great low tackle there by Nick Dawson again. Russell sends it left to uh, Nick Sweeney. He rolls forward. Tommy Tabor makes the tackle. Great ta attacking opportunity here for the, uh, the Barrow side. Meller at 5'8". Rolls across Jeremy York. He's got outside his man. He's dummied. Very close here. Great defence there by uh, the Bundara side. They've been able to uh, hold him out a couple of metres from the line. Uh, nothing play there. Last tackle. Coombs not happy. Zach Ballas goes himself. Touch does. Looks like he's going over. He's moving into the Ingold area. We're conferring here. Tony Hardy awards the try to the Barabas side. Big guard. Uh, no, no, I think it's sorry, uh, big number four, Zach Mallis. Great try there from Zach. Barges over from dummy half way out to the uh, the left hand side there. Uh, that'll now put the uh, the Barabas side in front. Eight points to six with the kick to come. Tell me this, Bones, with the, uh, the, the pace of the game in the, uh, the first quarter, uh, Timmy Coombs doing a lot of work outside. Is it right about now that you start to look towards your bench? And in doing those changes, how do you see, when you look at the two benches, how do you see they uh, changing the pace of the game? Yeah, obviously, uh, in the, uh, the second division, we've got unlimited interchange, so uh, there's been a couple of changes already by the um, by Jesse Phillips with the uh, the Barabba side. He's been rotating his forwards there. The big bloke, Pumpkin, he'll just keep going all day. He'll play, uh, whether or not he's running or walking, which he does do a lot of at times when he's uh, in defence, but uh, he'll just keep rolling forward, Pumpkin, and he'll, uh, he, he won't want to come off in a game like this. Rumour has it it's his last game, again, so he's got about 20 years to get over it, so... Uh, It'll be a big effort. He was certainly pumped up for the game. Yeah, no, as I said, it's uh, um, a big game for him. So Chris Halloran, conversion from the sideline, will just waved away. So score still, eight points to six to the Barrow Bulldogs over the Bundara Bears here in the uh, Calibre Country Group 4 Second Division Grand Final. Hitting points to 12 with a kick to come. As you can probably see in that play, that big Timmy Coombs was outside Jock then, and uh, Jock looked out. Could have been a chance for Coombs to go over for a try, but he was down on his haunches having a bit of a rest, and he's had to go back in and, uh, and made it count, got over the try line. So we're now talking uh, 18 points to uh, 12. We've got a kick to come. Yeah, he's been very strong, big Jock Mallis. Um, obviously, uh, even his twin there, um, uh, Zach, out in the uh, out in the centres. The two twins, they've been very strong for the boys. Obviously, their older brother, big Tim, he uh, had a lot of years here at, uh, at Barber and saw him here earlier with uh, a lot of the other family in the Mallis. They've got a, a bit of connection up there to Bundara as well, you know, uh, uh, from up that way. So, But as you said, great, uh, great try there from uh, big Jock. 18-12, kick to come here from Chris Halloran. 
and uh, you know this will bring the uh, game back to a four point game and uh, you know we've got a grand final on good kick there from Halloran converts a try 18 points to 14 and here are we at the uh, group four second division rugby league grand final at Caliber Country are our major sponsors uh, Ray McCoy and uh, Scotty Bone with you it's been a great first half the, uh, the score line at half time uh, again 18 what were we 18-8 18-8 at half time it's now back to 18-14 both teams going back to their starting line actually set for uh, we've lost the big number 10 coming out of the, the Bundy Bears and Tommy Tabor got hurt in the first half but uh, again we're going back to, uh, to revisit the first half first points of the second half going to the Barabra Bulldogs Mundara side kicked off. Sean Spence here rucks the ball forward. Oh, good strong run. James Dees came out. That was Nick Dawson actually came with a really big shot there. Just stayed in, inside here. Great run there from Sean Spence. Oh, put the foot in. Touch here now. Yeah, a bit of feeling. Crowd getting right into it now. Uh, back to that four-point game. Here we go. So this should be a tackle here. Yeah, that's a... Uh, Tony Hardy's exactly right here. Uh, when getting up to play the ball, you can put your foot on the line. Okay, we, in, in doing that. So uh, we're back to tackle two, or actually still be tackle one. Coombs rolls it forward. Again, Dawson. Uh, every time Coombs goes to run the ball, Nick Dawson's there to try and get at him. Here comes big Jock Mallis, the try scorer. James Dees, great low tackle there from Dees. Uh, takes him down uh, 50 minutes, uh, just on, over the halfway. Zach Mullis takes one forward here. Deves again chasing out. He's really trying to work hard for the Bundara side. Uh, Justin Fox here takes the ball forward. The boys all pointing. Let's roll forward here. Last tackle. The Bulldogs go to the right. Chris Halloran. Nice big high kick here. That's a big kick. Fullback David. He's not real sure where it's gone. No, a bit long. I see a bit of uh, personality sneak into the game as well. It's, uh, we've had Sean Spence, who's actually been leading from the, uh, the front all day, but he's having a quick yarn to uh, Luke Deeds every chance he gets the opportunity. And it, uh, I'm not saying it's getting personal, but, uh, again, two very experienced teams, two very big teams, and I guess both teams looking for whatever edge they can get to get towards the, uh, the Premiership trophy. Yeah, as you said, uh, uh, really, uh, really important period here for both sides at the moment. Uh, I think whoever... Uh, Whoever can come out in the next 10 minutes could go a long way to winning this premiership. Nick Dawson again for the Bundara side. He just keeps rolling his sleeves up, goes forward. Uh, great tackle there from Adam Russell, the hooker. They come to the right. Dittman drops it back underneath. I think that's the 21 back on there. Big Kai McLennan. Uh, Waters at dummy half. Off to Lukey Dees, who puts a high kick. York under some pressure. Oh, he spilled it backwards. Yeah, backwards, he says there, the referee. Sean Spence, he was back there on the left-hand side to, to clean up the spill there. So great work from the big big second row forward. <laughs> Bo White down the right side. Good run there from Bo White. Great run there from Bo White. Gets the boys back out to near halfway. Lincoln Brown takes one. Good little right foot. Right foot again from Brown. Looked like Benji Marshall stepping across there in the middle of the field. Adam Russell at dummy half. Spins it left here to Tom Meller. Oh, Nick Dawson came out of the line there. Just missed. He's hard. Some of his defence today is actually a bone crushy, but he's he's looking at getting the ball play so they don't get an option to, uh, to get the ball out wide. And if, if the Bulldogs are looking towards uh, the, the centres in Bo White and uh, Zach Mallis to, uh, to do some damage out wide, uh, he's doing everything he possibly can to cut that ball off short. Yeah, touch there. Timmy Coons went to the line and uh, tried to float a, a ball over the top. There was a touch by Bundara, so we'll get six again here, uh, a scrum. Uh, what do we got there? About 30 metres out from the uh, Bundara line, and we'll have a scrum to, to Barabas. So, again, another great opportunity here for them to, uh, to put some points on the board. <laughs> Bit of water going out there. Uh, a bar of a legend out there, big Chrissy Darlington running the water for the boys. Still looking as fit as he did 10 years ago, Darlo. The only reason he stopped playing, they couldn't get a Guernsey Here's the Barrow boys, they're on the attack now. 
Tom Meller in at dummy half. Spins it to the left to big Zach Malice. Good tackle there low from, uh, from Jake Deaves. They come back, Sean Spence. Great contact there. Dawson over the top. We talked about options before, Bones. This is the stage now where the Bulldogs uh, have got the ball. They can go for repeat sets, but they really need to uh, uh, consolidate here. Get some points on the board. Uh, looks like they're uh, just up short. But they need to get some points on the board now to consolidate and uh, go forward from there. Yeah, great ball there a minute ago from Timmy Coons. He bustled forward, got a ball out of Justin Fox. He's been brought down about five metres from the line and unfortunately he spilled the ball there. Uh, I did notice the two D's boys were very quick to come in and tell Foxy that he'd, uh, he'd knocked the ball on there. Nick Dawson down here having a bit of a rest. Uh, uh, probably entitled to Dorso. He's, uh, he's done a lot of work so far here in this first half. Timeout call by referee Hardy. Again, it's the, uh, the grand final. It's everything we, that we actually expected. What I'm liking, Bones, is the composure of both teams. They've, uh, they're not restricting the ball just to the forwards to go forward, go forward, go forward. Uh, they are driving a bit of a wedge and then spinning it out wide. I've been a little bit surprised that the ball hasn't gone out towards um, Zach Millis, Malice um, more often. It's more come towards uh, both side, both white side. But uh, he could be the unknown quantity coming in towards the, uh, the latter stages of the game. Yeah, as you said, mate, uh, obviously Zach, uh, a big boy out here on this left-hand side. At, uh, uh, again, both centres probably haven't had a lot of attacking opportunities at the moment, but uh, hopefully as we uh, work into the second half, they'll get some more opportunity. The other little play, having seen the dogs throughout the year, is the uh, um, Jeremy York coming into that back line. He hasn't had a lot of opportunities to come in and, uh, and be that extra man. As you said, yeah. A few times he has, he's created a bit of opportunities. Dorso's back up here, as we said, uh, tough as nails, Nick Dawson, and, uh, you know, he'll want to be still there, and, and he's going to be a key for the uh, Bundara boys as we keep moving forward. I'll tell you what, he's one guy you'd keep away, on, away from a mad Monday, wouldn't you? Yes, you would. So Bundara, they're going to have the ball here on their uh, 20 metres out from their own line. No, still about 10 metres out from their line. Uh, Really need a good set of six here and uh, get themselves out of a bit of trouble. Wall of the centre, good little run there out of dummy half. Waters goes back into dummy half, takes it off to, I'd say that's Jakey Deves. He doesn't mind the hard work, even though he's wearing number six. He'll, uh, he'll, he loves that hard work. Great run there. Great run there from Jake Deves. Gets the boys out to 35 metres out from their line. Goes out to the left, Nick Dawson again. Chuck Good, good run again from Dawson. They come right. Jake Deves, oh, forward pass, yeah. Just got themselves a little bit mixed up there. Waters out of dummy half and Deves. Uh, they had, they've been making some great yards there, but turn the ball over here now, and uh, obviously the Bulldogs will get another opportunity to uh, try and get this four points back. Time out here. Not sure what this for. A bit of blood bin by the look of it. The, uh, the bench and Luke White still sitting down there on the bar of the bench uh, in number 19. The game was ruled out at the start of the uh, uh, the start of the game, but uh, the best run of the game, so you never know. No, it'll be interesting here. Lincoln uh, Lincoln Brown, a bit of blood around the uh, the right ear there. Clean that up. Morgan Phillips comes into the action. <laughs> Well, they clean that bit of blood. But as you said, yeah, Luke, uh, Luke White's still sitting down here on the bench. I'm interested to see whether uh, Jesse Phillips uh, unleashes him on the game at some point. Tom Mellon now takes the ball forward. Good tackle again, Dawson. Got out of the scrum there and makes another great tackle. Jeremy York moves into dummy half. Comes left here to big Zach Malice. Deves up quickly. Again, they're, they're working hard in uh, these bigger players, the Bundara boys, trying to get up quickly and uh, take a bit of space off them. Coombs comes forward. Uh, Dawson really tried to have a shot there. Good offload there from Zach Malice to Jono Phillips here on the left wing. Russell, dummy half. Out to now Jock Malice. Good step there. Great little tackle there from Brad Waters. Opportunities here for the uh, Bulldog side. Goes out to the right to Tom Meller. Out to Chris Halloran. Chris, great store of the right foot. Little dart there. Probably an opportunity here to the left if they come. Big Zach Malice, there's a bit of space. See which way they go. They've gone right. Out to Tom Miller. Comes out to York. Out to Bo White. Big left arm. Fenn there. 
No, great defence there from the Bundara boys to snuff that out. Again, we talked about options. Uh, looked like they were going to go to the right, but had they come back to the left, they looked like they had numbers as well, but they also had fresh legs. Yeah, as you said, mate, there was numbers here on the left-hand side for them if they'd uh, come back to the left. Uh, there was a couple of forwards there, but uh, as I said, big Zach Malice had uh, had some space there that uh, they could have scored a try. But now Bandara rucked the ball out from their own, own line, about 10 metres out now. Uh, they come forward here. Again, that'd be Jake Deves doing the hard work with the number six on his back. Walla, the right centre. He's come in to help out the forwards here. Good little run from him. Takes the ball to 30 metres out from their own line. Waters in a dummy half. Sean Spence Lane over there. Here's Big McLennan. He brings it forward. Coombs and Mello there to make the tackle for the Bulldogs. Waters a dummy half again. Comes to the right there. Nice little offload there. Oh! Oh, Shawnee, Shawnee Spence has uh, collected the number 12 there in Matt Duffy a bit high. Um, obviously came up came up from the shoulder I think there and uh, but obviously uh, a penalty is all that's needed there and good refereeing there from Tony Hardy. Duffy's still down a little bit here at the moment. He's uh, a bit of opportunity to have a bit of a rest and I think both sides are probably looking for that. Interesting at the moment the uh, the Bundara side looking at their uh, uh, sucking in a bit of air but the Barrabah boys look fairly uh, fairly ready to go out here so. I'm just looking at a, uh, a telling point throughout the game and to me it's, it's really coming back down to uh, the number 13 for the Bears in Nick Dawson. Not only has he been very, very strong in attack, but his defence around the rucks and uh, even just on the fringes has cut down the uh, the opportunities for the Bears uh, on, on more than one occasion. As I said, he's, uh, he's been playing really well here, Dorso. Uh, he's obviously one of the leaders. He uh, he, he played with the, the Bundara side there last year. I think he was actually coached there for the, for the side in their first year in the competition. Uh, a guy with a lot of experience, played a lot of group football, played uh, played for Northern Division, uh, actually played country seconds as well. But we're back into the action, and big Troy Dawson takes one forward. Uh, Shawnee Spence went to the uh, the lower end of the uh, the body there and got him around the hips instead of around the head that time. Dawson again goes through. Zach Malice, good tackle there from Zach. Waters at dummy half. They're going to go left here. It'll go out to Luke Dees. He goes left again to Dittman. A long pass. Oh, it's got outside there. That's to the the four, Terry Lee. He's up again. He's tackled again. Oh, bad pass out of dummy half there from Dittman. Troy Dawson has to go back, pick it up. Chris Halloran comes up to knock him over. There again with Adam Russell. Russell working hard again in the middle of the ruck. Waters, he'll come right to Luke Deves. Deves, right foot step there, straightens the ball up. Last tackle here. What option will they go here? It goes left to Dittman. They've gone wide again, out to the 15. There's a bit of space there. Chris Halloran. Oh, good tackle there from Halloran. And Bo White to wrap him up very close to the line, probably five metres out. The great little run there from um, the number 15 in Bo Orchard. You've got to congratulate both uh, both clubs. The, the pace of the game has been uh, extraordinary. Uh, we know it's a grand final. We knew it was going to be uh, uh, hell or uh, take no prisoners, but it's been a great game of rugby league. A little bit of uh, niggly here and then, but that's just simply, I think, to test the water to see uh, how they're going to react to that. As we get towards the final stages now, maybe that might intensify. Yeah, exactly. Coombs there, rucks it forward. Little offload, Adam Russell. Another little dart from him. A couple of good strong runs here from Barber early in the set. Bo White, big left dummy, gets outside there. Oh, Dawson came across. Again, Nick Dawson in cover defence. Again, I go back to that word of options. Was that the right choice on that play with a very, probably what, a 10 metre line side? Probably not the right option, as you said, going down that short side there. Uh, now they've turned the ball over 40 metres out from their own line, so we're going to have a, another opportunity for Bandara here. And Bandara. Yeah, Justin Fox coming off for a rest again there for the uh, the Barra side. Very ugly looking scrum there. But uh, the Bundara boys have got the ball back there. 40 metres out from the Barabah line here. Great little run again. Jake Deves out of dummy half. 
as he said, he's wearing the number six, but does have the, the tough stuff in the middle. Comes right, Dittman. Oh, went to drop it back in. Little break there. Good little run there from Dittman, the 14. Great tackle there from, uh, I think it was uh, Morgan Phillips there in the 16. They go left. Nick Dawson again takes it forward. Great run. Great low tackle there from Lincoln Brown from the Barrow side. Left again, Waters. Goes out there to Luke Deves. Well, it puts a little grubber through. Chris Halloran picks it up. Great little hands there. That probably comes from his cricket days. Uh, great little cricketer is uh, Chrissy Halloran. So, uh, looked like he was fielding back in the slips there for North Tamworth. Coombsy rolls it forward. Good run again, as we said. Nick Dawson there to take him down. Adam Russell, good little dart out of dummy half. Great yards, all a little bit high there. Yeah, penalty. Again, nothing here. Just looked a little bit high there, Troy Dawson. But a great run there from Adam Russell. Uh, now, take a bit of pressure off the Bulldog side. Uh, again, as I said, score currently at uh, 18 points to 14 to the Bandara side. But uh, Chris Halloran puts the ball in a touch about... 55 metres out from their own line. Big Jock Malice rolls one forward. Again, Dawson there to meet him. Uh, play on, the referee says. Zalis, Malice gets up, runs a few more metres. They come to the left. Chris Halloran off to number 17 there in Nick Sweeney. Good tackle again, James Deves. They come left again, Coombs, who's with him. Oh, he's through a couple of tackles. He's looking for that big right arm to get free. Couldn't get it free. All penalty strip. This is where we come back. This is where Baraba need to be. Again, we go back to what we talked about all game, Bones. It's now about their choices, the options they need to take. Once again, Timmy Coombs has made that big yardage. Probably didn't need a penalty there to, uh, to keep the roll on, but they've got opportunity now uh, at 18-40. Do they take the two? No, they don't. They tap it and keep going. Yeah, big Zach Malice, uh, sorry, big Jock Malice takes it forward for the Baraba side. Very close here, inside the 10 metres now. Adam Russell comes left, Tom Meller. Very, very close. Just need to be patient here, the Baraba side. Russell at dummy half, out to Zach Malice. Again, good tackle down low. I think it was Nick Dawson again there. Great tackle that stopped that. No, actually it was the 15 Orchard. Out to the right, Chris Halloran. Good short ball, Lincoln Brown under the post. He looks like he's in a bit of trouble. I think he might have just copped a stray one as he's come across. Tony Hardy's called timeout here at the second. No, he's back on his knees there, Brown, but great short ball there from Chris Haller under the hard-running Lincoln Brown, the number 11. He scored under the post, so... We're still waiting here, Hardy. I'm not sure if he's awarded the tries yet. So he's calling someone out here. One of the D's boys. I think it's Jake. Yeah, no, it'll be interesting to see. I think it was uh, he was coming across to try and stop him. Yeah, it was in the, it was in the motion. But again, this is how the, uh, the game turns around. We've gone from an 18-8 lead from the Bandara Bears. We got back to 18-all uh, at the moment. We have a kick to come. And this could put the, uh, the dogs in front. Not sure what's happening here right at the second. Uh, it looks like he hasn't scored. It's just a penalty. So... Penalty for, for a high tackle. Obviously, he has uh, has dropped the ball in trying to score. So we're still at 18-14. But a penalty here uh, in front for the for the Barabas side. Jock Malice again takes it forward. Rolls off the first one. Russell at dummy half. They'll be looking for Kuhai at the back. Good play. Meller. Oh, Zach Malice wanted to come in there. John O. Phillips. Good tackle. Swarming defence there from the Bandara boys. Got across here to the right side. Russell at dummy half. Out to the right, out to Miller again. Again, good defence. Nick. Maybe that's a place to go right now. They've come back left. Gone to Coombs. Coombs, he's got a couple hanging off. He's close. Just short. Russell at dummy half again. Out the back to Miller. Out to Halloran. Out to York. Again out to Bo White, bit of space here for York. Jeremy York wraps around. Again, great defence from Bandara, swarming across there to the right-hand side of the field. Last tackle. Bo White has it. Spins it wide, Nick Sweeney. 
great defence there from the Bandara side. Oh, you've got to give a pat on the back to uh, Terry Lee, the number four for uh, the Bandara Bears. He's been sitting on uh, on uh, Bo White all game, but also we've just seen Jeremy York try to insert himself into that back line, and uh, they've covered that, and that was probably their best opportunity for a little while to get over the line. Yeah, time out here at the moment again. Uh, player down for the Bandara side. I, uh, I probably think it, by the look of it, looking at it, it's probably uh, Nick Dawson there again. Um, he's working his heart out at the moment, but yeah, as you said, look, an opportunity there again. Uh, they tried to barge over for a couple of tries. Uh, when they went wide, there was some space there, but again, some great defence there from the Bandara boys. They really uh, worked hard, and I was actually Lukey Dees down there, the, the, the captain coach, having a bit of a rest, but a uh, big set of six here from Bandara. They really need to uh, get to their kick and, uh, and get themselves out of trouble here. Good run there from uh, from the Mandara side. Waters at dummy half. He gets it out to Waller, the centre. Comes forward. Great tackle there from Tom Miller. Waters at dummy half. Off to Deves again. Here he is again, Jake Deves. Rolling his sleeves up, taking the, his team forward. Dawson takes the next one. Big Jock Mullis came in there to make the tackle. They come down to the left. Luke Deves is going to kick early here and there. Now it's Jake Deves again. York. Bit of space to the right there. Where's York going to go here? He comes back up the middle. Oh, I think Nick Dawson actually just took his own man out there. Coming in to have a shot at Deves. At, uh, at Jeremy York. He's got his poor bloke right in the middle of the back there, Dorso. So we've got 17 minutes to go here in the grand final. Um, got a Bandara player down here at the moment. I think it might be the 14, Anthony Dittman, that's down there. As I said, he, uh, he copped a spray one in the back there, I think, from um, from Nick Dawson, who was really coming in to, to try and shut the play down here. But the Barra Bulldogs are going to have the ball on, uh, on zero tackle here, or the first tackle, uh, 50, 50 odd metres out from their own try, uh, from the Bandara try line. No, it was actually the, the hooker, Brad Waters, that was down there. So he's back to his feet. <laughs> Sitting at home watching this game again, unlike the, uh, the normal competition rounds, there is time off for injury. So the, the idea of working the clock down isn't going to work. We've got 17 minutes to go. And uh, at the scoreline at 18 14 with the uh, Bundy Bears in front of the Barrow Bulldogs, uh, we're in for a crack of 15 to 17 minutes. Yeah, Nick Sweeney here takes one forward. Again, James Deves over there on the left edge for the Bundara side. Shuts that down. Adam Russell in the dummy half. Pushes forward. Here's Tim Coombs again. Rolls it forward. The big pumpkin. Gets that right arm free. York dances around. Beats the first tackle. James Deves. Great tackle there from James Deves. No, I think it might actually be Nick Dawson, was it there? No, Nick Dawson, not James Deves. Well, a bit of a bobble there. Knock on a dummy half. If the Bears have done anything well this game, and they have done quite a few things, they've actually marked Jeremy York exceptionally well. Opportunities. Yeah, he has, mate. As I said, all the backs at the moment haven't had a lot of opportunities. It's really been that real, uh, um, I suppose, everyone wanting to play up the middle here at the moment. So, But a bit of pressure left off there for the uh, for the Bundara side. Um, a scrum will now pack down on their 30 metre line. Uh, again, as I said, uh, big opportunity here from them. They need to get it. They need to get to a good kick. They have. Uh, they've probably struggled for that in the second half of the moment. Barrow have had a lot of ball down in their area. Uh, they've only been able at the moment, however, get a few points back from the halftime score. But uh, we'll see how we're going to go with these last 15 minutes of the game. It's, uh, it's probably, uh, and I'm sorry to say, to continue, but the, the two good, uh, the two right teams to match each other into a grand final. They've been uh, biff and barge all day. They've both got a bit of speed out wide as well. Uh, do you think either team haven't used some options that they may have may have had the opportunity to? Yeah, as you said, mate, it's really still they're still trying to uh, you know come through the middle of both sides. You know, there's there is some space every time both sides have gone to the edges. They've found a bit of space. So here we are again. Great little offload there out to uh, to Terry Lee. They come back to the right, Dittman. He's out in his own here, scampering around. Good little ball there. Deves, Jake Deves, out to the number three, Waller. He got an opportunity, he gives it to the winger. He comes back inside. That's a great try to number two, Jordan Beveridge. A great try there for the Bundara side. They're swaying from the left-hand side of the field all the way over to the right here. Found some space, and Jordan Beveridge finishes off for the Bundara side with a kick to come, 22 points to 14 to the Bundara side. To go. 
We've just been talking, obviously, about some you know opportunities if the if the players got it to the edge. Bandar and that set straight away. A couple of little offloads. Dittman, who's been dangerous for them, the number 14. He started the match for them. He's been very dangerous. Was able to find a bit of space and obviously uh, they got it out here to uh, uh, to the centre in Sam Waller, who's been really good for the Bears. And he was able to find his winger, Jordan Beveridge, to, to score in the right-hand corner. Uh, obviously be a, a difficult kick for Jake Deves, but uh, obviously at the moment, 22 points to 14. Yeah, eight points ahead. Big crowd here, the Bundara people. We're getting right behind the, the Bears here right at the moment. So time out here from uh, to, from Tony Hardy while we find a footy so uh, so Deezy can have this kick. Put your uh, coaching cap on at the moment. We've got around about uh, 15 minutes to go. Uh, currently down 22-14. There's a kick to come. What do you do to get back in the game? Yeah, look, mate, there's still, pl there's still plenty of time. Two tries is all they'll need, Barry, to, to get themselves back in the game. Uh, but, again, they're probably going to need to start trying to look at some of their strike weapons. As we said, they've got Bo White out there who's had limited opportunities. Uh, even big Zach Mallis out here on the left-hand edge. So they need to do a bit more work and probably uh, start to be a little bit more expansive instead of just trying to get up the middle. It, uh, it really has been played in the, uh, in the centre third. A lot of the games, the fringes have actually provided the uh, the opportunities for tries. But again, um, now with 22-14, uh, we've probably got around about uh, 12 minutes to go. Uh, maybe expansive football now is the answer. Yeah, obviously they're going to have to play a bit of uh, play a bit of footy now. The, the Barrow side Dees here lining up this kick. Jake Dees, he's uh, he's been successful with three conversions already today. Um, this would make it four from four. It's taking a bit of time. Moves in, time back on. Take your time, Jack. Oh no, he just played it off to the right there, so it was a, a big curl back, but just wasn't enough. But eight points we've got with probably about 13 minutes to go in this grand final. As you said, Bandara in the box seat here at the moment, so uh, Barabar, they're going to need a big set of six here, try and force a turnover or try and uh, get them to kick uh, deep into the, the Bandara half so they can get some footy back and, and need, a, need a try early. Again, a grand final, we've got roughly about 12 minutes to go. Uh, game plan wise, you don't go away totally and change things. You just simply now just fine tune and do the things that you do well to get you up the paddock. Yeah, exactly right, mate. You know they've, they've been playing well all year, and uh, you know as I said, they've uh, they've had 12 or 13 wins in a row, and they've been doing that. And there's a, a way they play footy, and they just need to continue that on. Mandara, they return the ball there, the second row, and Matt Duffy. The centre, Waller, again, good little run out of dummy half. He's been good for them today, Waller. Waters at dummy half. Again, Jake Deves, the 5'8", pushing forward with the boys. Trying to get the quick play of the ball there. Yeah, good quick play of the ball. Nick Dawson, again, names that we say. It seems every time that Deves takes one, Dawson's there to take one. Great quick play of the ball. Waters jumps out of dummy half. They're on their, their heels a bit there. Again, still some space down here, the right side. Well done there. Big Zach Muller slowed the play of the ball down, gave him a bit of time. Luke Dees, good little kick into the corner. John o. Phillips takes the ball. Back, back out to Bo White. Well wrapped up there, White. James Dees, good tackle to finish White off. Dawson, oh, great tackle there from Nick Dawson on John o. Phillips. Russell at dummy half, off to big Jock Mallis. Look for the pass there, Dawson again over the top. Great tackle down low there from Waller. Adam Russell, off to Coombs. Oh, great ball, White. Great opportunity there, but Barra need to continue to push up there in the middle. All the players need to be pushing up. Out to Chris Halloran, puts a kick down into the right-hand corner. Ball pulls up there a bit. The 15 Orchard, he breaks away from the first tackle. Jeremy York there to make the tackle for Barabar. Bandara, a few of the boys slow to get back there. Off here to James Dees. Good run from Dees. Good tackle buck from Sean Spence. Brings him to ground. 30 metres out from the Bandara line. Waters. Good little scoot there. Played for the penalty, but uh, Hardy wasn't uh, being forgiving there and giving him one. Dees. Back across there to Orchard. He spins it wide. Good little pass there. Oh, dummy there from the oh, offload. sure who that is over there. A bit far away. You know I am blind, so... 
Loogie Deves, hoist one high here. Bit of pressure here, Bo White. Well, they've let it go. Duffy takes it, still the last tackle. They need to wrap the ball up. He's still trying to get it away. No, they've wrapped it up there. And the Barabas side will get the ball 30 metres out from their own line. Roughly about nine minutes to go. This is really the time to tell now for the, uh, the Barabas Bulldogs. Um, the scoreline at the moment is 22-14. Like eight points behind. We need to get in there a couple of times. Uh, Timmy Coop still doing the, uh, the hard stuff. Do they change their game plan now, Bones, and basically spread it a little bit wider? doing what they, uh, they do well. Yeah, look, obviously they've got to try and uh, source as well. Sean Spence here, great run from big Sean Spence. Oh, he's got the ball free. It's touched there by the uh, the Bundara. They just got an arm on it. Uh, John o. Phillips there, flops on top of him. Time off again, yep. This is really what we expected. We're now down to the pointy end. We've got roughly 10 minutes to go. The scoreline's 22-14 with the uh, the Bundy Bears leading the Barabra Bulldogs. And realistically, this is what footy's all about. So we'll see who stands up well now. That eight points, the fact that it's eight points and not six uh, is a big buffer. Yeah, obviously, mate. Obviously, uh, you know, Barabra have got to score twice to, to get in front. So uh, I think Hardy's just going to rule play the ball here. It'll be a turnover. It'll be zero tackle for the, for the uh, Bundara boys. Timmy Coombs has just come off to have a, a bit of a spell as well. Um, again, it'll be interesting to see who, uh, who picks up the force there and, um, and drives the team forward. Yeah, big Blake, Lork, uh, big Blake York's going on for, for Coombsy there. Good little run down here. Deves again, good solid tackle there from Zach Mallis in the centres and John Phillips throws him back over. So... No, uh, that's a silly penalty. That's a silly challenge. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I think he just walked off, so. Yeah. From the, uh, the sideline players to the, uh, the field. This is where the smarts come in. Realistically, you've got the, uh, the Bears. Looting at the moment, 22-14. If the dogs are going to get back into this, they've got to have the smarts. Yeah, as you said, number 17 coming on for his service today, Les Perrett. <laughs> Penalty here, Jake Dees kicks it into touch. Could, we, uh, could this be the last time we see Timmy Coombs running around the footy, Guernsey? Or will he uh, come back next week as well? So we'll be interested to see. Barra boys, Les Perrett takes it forward there for the uh, for the Bundara side. What do we got here? Hardy's asking to come back. Send to go. Send to go. Twenty-two to fourteen. Jakey Dees, he takes it forward again. He's been strong again for the for the Bundara side. Waters in a dummy half. Les Perrett takes it forward. Met there by Big Jock Malice. And Justin Fox, the 13. Waters goes left. Dittman. Nice pass out. Good defence there. Very good defence there from Barabra. They pushed up quickly there. That's Jeremy York. I think uh, if you look now that York and uh, Bo White have actually swapped positions there. Forward pass. Yeah, they've uh, actually swapped there. Bo White's gone back to fullback here at the moment, and York in it, uh, in it right centre. So obviously wanting Bo to get more involved and push up the middle there, which he'd done a couple of times off Timmy Coombs and was able to get an offload, but they're going to need more of that now uh, going in the last 10 minutes. Right, Bunch, put your coach's uh, cap on. You've got 10 minutes to go. You're down by 22 to 14. Do you change what you've been doing or base your game plan around, or you simply open up for expansive football? To get those points. Yeah, you've got to play a bit of footy now. You're inside that last 10 minutes. And as I said, we've got to score. They've got to score twice. Mallow, good little dummy there, and a break. He's been strong for the Barabas side today, the 5 8. Zach Mallis, he comes left here to Bo White. White's got the football early, an opportunity. Comes forward. Nick Dawson again coming over the top. As soon as any of those danger players, he's there to try and make it. Zach Mallis runs out of dummy half, offloads to his twin, Big Jock. Jock makes a good, strong run up the centre of the field. They go to the right. Big Blake York rolls forward for the Barabas side. 
Come down the left, Zach Mullis. He looked off later, Bo White. Oh, White just just ankle tack. Just got enough on him there, did Nick Dawson, to bring Bo White down. Last tackle. Adam Russell hoists the ball high into the right corner. Bit of pressure here. Oh, no, I'd say that probably a knock on there. Yeah, it was. Just a hand on it over there on the right-hand side. Mick Rutherford got a hand to that. But there, again, it's certainly an opportunity there for Baraba. In the last, we'll have a change over here for the Bundara side. They're probably 12 metres out. Oh, they'll be on the 10-metre line, 10 metres out from their own try line. Likely seven to go, I'm assuming. <laughs> Good run there from Bundara to get them out of trial. I think that's a 16, Jaden Field there. Deves again, Jake Deves. Meant well there by the number nine, Adam Russell. Where Deves goes, you'll be looking for Dawson to be coming, following straight after. They go a bit wide, Les Perrett. Zach Mullis comes in for the tackle. Good tackle there from Zach Mullis. Waters a dummy half again. Gets it off to Orchard. Waters from dummy half. Looks to, the, looks to his left. Off to Luke Deves. Out to Nick Dawson. Dawson takes them forward, rolls them forward again. Last tackle here now. They'll be looking for a big kick. Jake Deves from his 40. That's a great kick. Big long kick. McArdle. Oh, he's touched it there. Great kick there from Jake Deves. McArdle offloads to Bo White. Bit of space here. White back up through the middle. Uh, White's through. Here he goes. Nick Dawson in cover defence. Great tackle again from Nick Dawson. There's an opportunity there, but Dawson again there to shut it down. Some room on the right. Big Zach, uh, Jock Malice takes it forward for Baraba. Coombs back onto the field. Justin Fox. For the first time, the Bears showing a little bit of fatigue. So looks like the uh, Timmy Coombs gone back on the field now. So the, the Bulldogs on their toes. This is their chance to get back in. We've got about six minutes to go. Russell at dummy half. He comes left to Tom Miller. He's in a bit of two minds there. He comes back to the middle. Still no, just no support there from Barrow. They need to push up there. Bo White standing back here on the 20 metre mark. Last tackle. Is this the last opportunity for the Bulldogs? Jock Malice. Again, good defence. Bandara shut that down again. Probably not the option on the last tackle. They need to probably another pass there from the Barrow side. There's a lot of wounded bodies out here at the moment. A lot of the Bundara guys on their haunches. Barabba had a lot of football in their second half. They've defended really, really well in their second half, Bundara. The drama is there's an eight points difference, so it's over the line twice. Uh, or even to get back to Golden Point. But it's, it's interesting. If, if you had to make a call at the moment, it looks like the uh, the Bulldogs look a little bit fresher than the uh, than the Bears. Yeah, obviously they do. But uh, as I said, Bundara has done a lot of defence here in their second half today. Um, but they just keep putting their hand up and trying to work forward. They're going to play the ball about 32 metres out from their own line. Uh, Jake Deves in a dummy half again. Has a little scoot there. Takes them forward. Waters will come back in. Luke Deves there. The captain coach, he's directing them around. Comes right to Dittman. Dittman, nice little ball there. The big front rower, Troy, Troy Dawson. He busts through Sean Spencer's tackle. He's still going. Takes the ball back to the halfway line. Last tackle. He crawls forward a little bit. Here we go. Kick here. Dittman. Oh, it's off the side of the boot. Jordan Beveridge, opportunity. No, knock on there. Knock on. It'll be Bulldogs ball and a changeover. About 48 meter, uh, 58 metres out from the line. They need a try here. Roughly got five minutes to go. The scoreline reads 22-14. So there's eight, eight points variation. They get down, they get a converted try. They've got to come back again from there, but uh, the pressure's on now. Coombs takes the first one forward there for Baraba. Malice again. He's had a strong game for the Baraba side. Always willing to put his hand up there, big jock. They go right. Chris Halloran, a bit of space there. Bit of room. Brown drops back in there. Beats the first tackle. He comes down about 35 metres out from the Bundara line. They go right. Justin Fox. He rolls off. Flicks one out. Set play on. Bo White was there. Again, great tackle over there. Uh, Nick Dawson comes across to shut it down. They come back to the left. Halloran out to Miller. Good defence from, uh, from Bandara. Really got up quick there. Got up very quick. 
Uh, D, Luke D's always got a wall ball away there. Justin Fox goes right. Out to Bo White. He's got that big left arm there trying to fend away. Last tackle. They'll come back. What will the option be? A kick here from Russell. It's high in the corner. McArdle's coming through. Great take there from Waller. Sam Waller diffuses the bomb. Great work from the, the centre from Bandara. Big, big Dawson, Troy Dawson from dummy half. The big front rower scoots out. Slow play the ball there. Waters off to Deves again. Another strong run from Jake Deves. We've got roughly two minutes to go. Scoreline 8, 22-14 uh, in favour of the uh, Bandara Bears. Um, Lindsay Bowen were down there choosing the, uh, the man of the match. Any contenders from you? Yeah, mate, obviously there's a, a few boys there. Obviously uh, guys like uh, Nick Dawson, as I said, Jake Dees. Dittman's been very good for the uh, for the Bandara side as well. Um, but even on the opposition side, Jock, Jock Mallis has tried his heart out. So has uh, Tom Mellor, the 5-8. Uh, the They've both played really hard. Kick downfield, back to Jeremy York. We need to do something early here. You're coming back. Looks a bit, uh, doesn't look to be running really freely there, but tackled again, Waters. He's been he's been strong for them as well, the, the dummy half for uh, for Bandara. He's been in everything all day. Sean Spence takes the ball forward. Uh, Troy Dawson, he takes a tick. Again, three in the tackle. They want to finish this off. Russell, Jake D's coming out of the line. Coombs, good little ball. Oh, Nick Dawson. Big shot. I oh, know it was actually, yeah, Dawson it was. Mello bounced away from it, offloaded to, to uh, Bo White, but snuffed out again over there by Field. They go right, Chris Halloran, off to Jeremy York. York dancing through the middle here. He's made a bit of room here, he's still going. Great run there for York. They've got numbers out to the left here if they want to take them. They go right to Bo White. White's got an opportunity here, be hard to stop from there. No, knock on. Knock on. Great defence again from the Bandara boys. Scrambled across there. Very, very close here to full time. Time out. How do you rate the grand final, mate? Yeah, mate. Obviously, it's been a it's been a big it's been a tough game. Uh, some great hits from both sides, you know. So um, obviously, uh, Barabo would be uh, looking here. It's very very close to the end. But they'd be disappointed in uh, in the performance they've put forward. But you can't take anything away from the Bundara side. They've been strong from minute one through to uh, through to minute eighty, and just as they are again here. Getting the. Uh the Bulldogs work their way up to second place. Uh, a slow start for the season. A great run then to get them up into uh, uh, the position to, to host the uh, the grand final. Uh, and all credit to the uh, the Bandara Bears as well. Started slowly, worked their way, got into fourth spot, and have worked their way through the semis. Yeah, as he said, they've uh, uh, had a great year. Bandara again, Troy Dawson. That's full time from the Bandara Bears. Uh, the 27 a in Caliber Country. Second group four, second division premiers. The, the crowd streams on. The Bundy people will be very, very happy to be a big night tonight back in Bandara at uh, the Deves Hotel. But uh, very worthy winners today of today's grand final. They've uh, they've played, as we said, strong from minute one through to the end, and uh, they thoroughly deserve their victory here today. If you had to summarise the game itself. Um Again, we knew we came in, we had two big packs. Uh, both were going to play some uh, some solid middle football. Um, to me, basically, the, the outside backs didn't get the opportunity, um, as in the opportunities for Bo White and, uh, and Zach Mallis, uh, but also Sammy Walker and uh, Terry Luke. Most of the uh, the damage was done up the middle. When there was a try coming out wide, it was just simply off that uh, off that hard work, but no set plays that actually ended up in, uh, uh, in uh, four pointers. Uh, a tough game, I think, typifies the quality of uh, the second division competition, and uh, on the day, probably the rifle winners they work hard. Yeah, as you said, mate, uh, Bundara are the rifle winners today. They've, uh, they were the best side uh, here today, uh, as you said, from minute one through to through the uh, full-time siren. They they uh, they were here to win, and uh, and that's what they've done. They they worked hard, as we said all year. They're a, a very grinding sort of side, the Bundara side. Uh, nothing flash, nothing special. As I said, when you look at guys like um, when you look at guys like the uh, 
uh, the number six Dees, who's uh, you know, playing five eight. But you know, every second, every set of sits, he's there putting his hand up there, taking the ball forward. Uh, I thought him and Dawson, Nick Dawson, were outstanding for them today. But uh, you know, guys like their hooker, uh, little Brad Waters, he tried his, his uh, guts out. Anthony Dittman was the same, the fourteen. Uh, but yeah, again, you know, well deserved winner to Bandara. As we said, we we've talked about a lot during the year, Bray, and in our podcast that uh, when you look at their season, their first year into Group Four last year, they uh, they only won two matches, and now uh, second year in the competition, they're uh, they're Group Four premiers. So congratulations uh, uh, to all the committee up there at Bandara. They've uh, they've done a great job, and uh, it's fantastic to see for the small community there. All good. Nice to uh, do another grand final with you today for the second division competition. We'll be back up again uh, on Sunday for the uh, the first grade grand final between the North Tamworth Bears and the Narrabri Blues. Uh, I'll tell you now, if it could keep up to the standard of this game, it's going to be an absolute cracker. Yeah, as you said, mate, uh, should be a great grand final tomorrow. Uh, two good good, good games here today. Obviously, earlier in the earlier match, the, the Tingle Moomy Roosters got home over Urala 6-0. I think it was in the uh, the ladies' league tag. So uh, two great games up here at Baraba. Uh, a great, great venue and a great place for, for country footy, as people would see. So, uh, as I said, tomorrow should be uh, four great games. Uh, all the games will be streamed live. But uh, obviously the first grade will uh, have the uh, lovely dulcet tones of myself, Ray McCoy, and, uh, and the, Fox will, the Fox will be back. So, uh, uh, as I said, uh, great day here today at, uh, at Baraba, and congratulations to the Bundara Bears. Thanks, Talk again. Thanks, guys. Well, ladies and gentlemen, if you'd like to uh, come forward, we'll have the presentation. Congratulations to both teams. Give them a big round of, uh, round of applause. It's a great game of rugby league. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, if both teams can come over towards the presentation area, we'll make the presentation. Whilst they're doing that, we'd like to thank you on behalf of Group 4 Rugby League for coming along and supporting what has been an incredible competition this week, this year in fact. I'm sure you'll agree a great team for us. Whilst they are coming over, congratulations to the Barrow of the Bulldogs for hosting the Grand Final. We can go for the last of their presentation of the ground, the event of the green support. The city is absolutely great. The hospitality, indeed, not only the last of two, but all the spectators today has been for us last. If we could ask those clubs to come over towards the presentation area, we'd like to do the presentation now. If you enjoyed today's rugby league, of course, the red was tomorrow at North Tamworth Oval before a great game kicking off around about 10.30. We'd like to see you there as well.
the both teams could make their way over the road for presentation the area would be appreciated. That way you can kick off your celebrations pretty soon. And the Bulldogs can start man, 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 man. Can somebody from Bundara direct their players over this way? Or we'll toss it to one and give it to the other mob. Your call. Uh, Tony Hardy, if you want to just come forward for a second, thank you very much indeed. Tony, of course, is in charge of the, uh, the group four referees. Here is the uh, development. Absolutely everything when it comes to referees. Thank you, mate. Righto, uh, congratulations. Righto, uh, teams, if you'd both like to, uh, to come forward. We'd like to do this before the sun goes down. Okay, whilst we're uh, waiting for the Bundara team to come over, sad to say that uh, in every competition there has to be a runner-up. I hate the word loser because it's certainly not that today. So again, thank you very much to the uh, Bundara club for hosting the, the grand final. Barber, did I say? Bundara. Barber for hosting the, uh, the grand final today. And uh, without further ado, I'd like to call upon the, uh, the coach of the uh, the bar of the and Jesse Phillips to come along and say a few words. Jesse? Uh, first of all, congratulations to Bandai. You played a great grand final and you deserve to be in the winner's seat. I, I, I hope you all enjoy your night. Uh, Take Take it home and relish it, boys. It's something that doesn't come around that often, so congratulations there. Tomorrow, boys, to be the most important part up. They, um, they obviously wanted a little bit more today, and then they, they deserved to win. So I'd like to thank everyone, everyone involved in Bad World League for doing what they've done this year to get our car back to where it was after last year's effort. So top job there in the community and the staff. So, to all the boys involved in, in my side this year, I'd just like to thank you for the great, great run you've had. Anyway, we'll stay out of the next two more anyway, Thanks a lot. Thank you, Justin. I just looked around to see where uh, Timmy Coons is still out here. May have gone in the set. So, for Timmy and the other players, for coming to the year, congratulations. Hello right, guys, let's get to the big one. As far as Grand Finals go, I think you'll all agree that was an absolute cracker. Have a good place for the great team. Yeah. Give a round of applause. Yeah. 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 Without further ado, can we please ask the, uh, the coach yeah. of the Bandara Bears to come forward? Yeah. <laughs> No, I'm sorry, I'm stuck. Magic, you sing, mate. It's karaoke. Karaoke. Karaoke on Monday. Um, <laughs> right, um, I'd just like to thank everyone that's involved in the club. Uh, we've come a long way since last school, uh, two years ago. So we've come here today and um, you know, 
Just don't worry about it. Thanks to everyone that's helped out the club, sponsors, um, all the parents, all the guy parents, everyone from Guy, all the boys. Thanks for the year. I mean, it's been pulled in here last year, but it's been all been worth it, eh? It's been a great year for you. Yeah, um, to Barra, thanks for the game today, boys. Um, he's like, knew it was going to be for a tough one, so. And just thanks to everyone for doing the club, eh? Um, come a long way. <laughs> and our number one supporter, Bruce Dean. Um, yeah, thanks to everyone that's helped out the club, sponsors, all the parents, all the boys. Anyway, mate, we're going to give you the shield in just a moment. We'll do the player presentations first. Congratulations. So, uh, you can go to the break of our by numbers. Number one today was Jacob David. Number two, Jordan Beveridge. Making the presentation from the group for a point of directors. Number three is Sam Waller. Number four... Terry Lee. Number five, Tom Colwell. Number six, Jake Deeves. Number seven, Luke. Luke Deeves. Number eight, Troy Dawson. Number nine, Brad Waters. Number 11, James Deeves. Number 12, Matt Duffley, is it? Get on your mic. Number 10, hey, you're leaving up him, give him a chance to come out. Number 10, Tommy Tamer. <laughs> Shit, did he play? Have a go at it. Number 11 was James Deaver, we said. Number 12 is Matt Guthrie. 13, Nick Dawson. Number 14, Anthony Dickman. Number 15, Bo Orchard. 16, Jaden Field. Number 17, Les Barrett. Number 18, Todd Field. And number 21, Kai McLennan. Congratulations to all the players. There was an extra Thank you. 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 Thank Thank you so much, Barbara, for hosting the grand final.